but everything just happened within a short space of time and all together and you know I rediscovered my love for riding but then I also got injured and I hated riding like, there was all these like just major moments that happened at once and I feel like I'm trying to slowly exiting the fog <laughs> it's been a good few years of just I don't know mashed up thoughts and not knowing where I stand or what I want to do and just being a bit lost so now kind of coming out the other side and having a clearer vision of what I want and how to do it to concerts and play that song. <laughs> cool. What now? Racing is everything to me at this point. It's <laughs> from a super young age I can remember just always wanting to be the best at whatever I did and hating not being the best. Dad would tell me that I had to let other people have a chance and I'd go mental apparently and tell him that he didn't love me. And <laughs> I've been doing it now for so long. It's part of my life and it's part of my normality. I had like seven seasons of World Cup racing of like no injuries. So no wonder those wins eventually came. But the last few years have been tricky injury wise. <laughs> I separated my shoulder. Pretty soon after, I dislocated my ankle. One after the other, like back to back to just get knocked down like that. It takes a lot longer mentally to come back and be confident. Obviously you get a lot of time to yourself and you're not able to do what usually brings you joy. I had to turn to other things and activities, rediscover the other things that I enjoyed in life other than riding my bike. You'll like this one, Sam. Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> Vero, who is one of my mates who rides as well. We're both into like reworked clothing, so we just thought it'd be pretty cool if we could rework our own stuff. So I was like, a sewing machine can't be that hard. Like, my nan does it. It took ages to learn. And I'm not one of those people that like, reads the instructions. <laughs> I find it so cool, like just giving stuff new life. It's something that I'm really passionate about. It kept me very entertained for that period of time and it's kind of stuck now. So whenever I'm like stressed or want to get away, that's what I kind of dip into and just feel like it's quite therapeutic. Growing up, obviously, I was really into like action sports and I was like such a tomboy. But I think it's because that's what I thought like you had to be. When I was growing up, I thought I didn't like dresses. I didn't like pink because I like bikes. Half the time I'm in trackies and an oversized hoodie, but I do like getting dressed up. There's almost like this weird thing that if you're pretty, you're not good. And if you're good, you're not pretty. And that to me is just so infuriating. I feel like you can be both if you want to be both. I hope that girls or boys growing up, even if they like playing with Barbies, that they can turn around and watch downhill mountain bike racing on the TV and that's fine too. And if they want to go out and get dirty, then fine. Just looking back at that younger me, just being like, <laughs> come on. Now I'm insanely in love with the colour pink. I just can't get away from it, I love it. <laughs> and I just felt like I wanted to bring that into riding. I wanted to put a kit on and I wanted to feel good. How's that looking? <laughs> just asking the public what kit I should run tomorrow. Let's be honest, there's only one answer, it's the left one. <laughs> When like I put on a kit I really like, I'm obviously like, oh. <laughs> like <laughs> just kind of like walk out and you're like, oh, like this is sick. Does it look like I'm sat on my bike? <laughs> <laughs>
When I put my race kit on, I do feel like a superhero. I just feel like my personality comes to life. I feel like me. If it makes you feel good, then yeah, obviously you're going to ride faster. I could stop racing and be happy, just with what I've learned over the past few years. But I, I just don't want to. It's as simple as that. Yeah, it's been the hardest season to date for me, for sure. I remember, you know, having to put a post out there just to relieve some of the pressure off of my shoulders from people expecting me to, and myself, expecting to perform when I felt like the way I did. I went away and had my injuries and came back and all of a sudden it was just like, whoa, like what's happened here? The women's field is just the most competitive I've ever seen it in my career. It's insanely strong, way more than it ever has been. So like, it was you know, a massive kick up the arse. It is pushing me to train harder than ever. I just feel like I'm having to kind of build up myself again and figure it out. I left the season feeling so inspired by all the girls. So yeah, I thought it was a good show. I enjoyed watching it. <laughs>
like I've got so much more to achieve and, and show. I just feel like I haven't shown what I'm capable of yet. I think we got a glimpse of it. To be able to showcase that to myself, my team, and everyone surrounding would be, would be the dream, yeah. I've just learned so much through the past few years from coming back from injury, from, you know, being in lockdown, from racing again, not feeling great, and having this new form of anxiety before this year, and it's just stuff that makes you learn a lot more about yourself. But I think now that I'm learning, I, I know what works for me and what doesn't. And I think that was probably the, yeah, the most valuable lesson was just um, taking care of myself. <laughs>